So let's say we're dealing with ratio again. And let's say they've given us a word problem. Okay. And it says that in a bag of marbles, okay, so we have some bag here, marbles. For every, let's say for every two red marbles, there's three blue ones. First off, we have a ratio for every two red marbles, we have how many blue? Um, no, three, three. three, yeah. In total, how many are there? Five. That's right. So there are five in total. Okay. We're talking about a ratio of the bag. And let's say this is consistent. It always happens. So let's say now we found a bag, and this bag happens to have 16 red marbles okay so if this bag has 16 red marbles they want to know how many blue marbles are in this bag so we have to figure out is how we got from 2 to 16 just like if we're changing fractions okay so what would I do to go from the number 2 to the number 16 that's right I multiply by 8 so I gotta do the same thing to the blue marbles so I take 3 and I multiply it by yeah. So how many blue marbles are in this bag? Twenty-four. Right. Now how many marbles are there altogether? Oh. Forty. That's right. There are Forty marbles altogether in this bag. Okay. Let's say it's the same type of idea, um, but in this one, same type of question. We know that there are eighteen blue marbles in this bag. They need to figure out how many red marbles there are in this case. Okay, it's the same idea. I need to either figure out how they went from 3 to 18, which is a lot easier, or figure out how they went from 24 to 18. Now, from going from 24 to 18 is tough, okay? But from going to 3 to 18, I can get a definite number. What would I do to go from 3 to 18? Multiply by 6. That's right. If I multiply by 6, I get 18. So we do the same on the other side. We multiply 2 by 6. And how many red marbles will there be? Twelve. Um, can, can you reduce it? Or? Yeah, but the other thing is they're saying in a specific bag that there's 18 blue. Okay. okay? So the reduced, we always know the reduced one's right here. It's three to two. No. They've given it to us, okay? But then these questions even as different size bags. Like this bag had five. Second bag had 40. How many does this next bag have? 30. Yeah, that's right. This bag had 30 marbles. And we're just trying to figure out how many red ones there were to how many blue ones, okay? Uh, let's say we have the same type of question, but it's the opposite end. So another ratio. But in this question, let's say we have crayons, okay? or pencil crayons, okay? And a pack of 100 pencil crayons. So for 100 pencil crayons, let's say there are... 75 that are broken, okay? Mm -hmm. So, pack of 100, broken, okay? And this always seems to happen. So let's say I bought a pack of 20, okay? So there's a pack of 20 pencil crayons. How many of those pencil crayons are going to be broken? So in other words, I have to figure out how I went from what? Yeah. That's right. What do we divide by? We divide by five. Five. That's right. If I divide 100 by 5, I'll get 20. So I do the same thing to 75, okay? So what do I divide 75 by? Five. Yes, and you divide by five. Now, can you think of it off the top of your head what that might be? Fifteen. Yeah, very good. So in a pack of 20, 15 are broken. This is not a very good deal, is it? Because in this pack, that means how many are not broken? Five. No, only five are not broken. That's a terrible deal. i got to stop buying from this guy. Okay? And let's say we want to reduce it as low as possible. We want to create a unit ratio for this. Okay? We've already gone down to 20 over 15. Let's try reducing that even more. How else can we reduce that ratio to make it an even smaller ratio? Yeah, that's right. Let's divide. 
let's divide both of those numbers again by 5. Okay? So if we divide both of them again by 5. That will be 4 plus 3. That's right. And there we go. There's our unit ratio. Our unit ratio is 4 to 3. So every pack of 4, 3 are going to be broken. So that means in a pack of 4, how many are not going to be broken? 1. 1. That's brutal. <laughs> I'm not going to stop buying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so does that make sense to you, girl? So that's the idea of ratios there. Um, okay. The dots in the ratio are just to explain that it's four. It kind of represents the word two. Okay, so this really means four to three. Just like this means two to three, 16 to 24, 12 to 18. So that's the ratio, every two to three. Or 16 to 24, or 12 to 18. This kind of represents the word 2. And it, what it's really like is, remember, if we turn this into a fraction, 4 over 3. It's just separating the two numbers. Okay? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yeah.